One day, Lori got ready and went to school. There she met her boyfriend, Bobby, at the front, just as any normal day, then went to the regular day schedule. Nothing seemed out of the blue until during lunch when Lori sat down to eat her food. She overheard some girls talking about a video everyone has been watching. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Have you heard that there's this video going around the internet? It's very popular, one girl said. What's so special about it? The other one asked. Apparently, if you watch it, you'll go missing within seven days, the first girl said. Is that true? The other asked. No, it's just a rumor, the girl said. Okay, you want to watch it? The other asked. Uh, yeah, girl, the girl said. Lori thought that she should give Ada a try. She did have a phone with her. She opened it and I was about to go find the video, but then Bobby came up to her. Hey, babe, he said. Lori quickly put her phone away. Hello, Bobby Boo Boo Bear, Lori said. Mind if I ask you what's so interesting on your phone? I noticed you were looking at it when I came up, he asked. Oh, it's literally nothing, Lori said. Okay, I believe you, babe. He started to eat his food without making it awkward. Lori started eating her food as well. After lunch, it was time to get to the last part of the school day. Yeah, done. After school, Lori went, went home after she threw the door. She headed up to her and Lenny's room. She closed the door. Once she got in, she sat on her bed and her phone. She started looking through it until she remembered that she wanted to see what that video was all about. She found an impressed play on it. When she, what she saw was a little disturbing. This is what she watched. She saw a little girl climb up to the window. It was in a very high building, making it seem impossible for anyone to do that. This little girl had a very gross gray skin that looked like it was rotting. She also had a long you know, black hair covering her face and half her torso. And she was wearing some sort of nightgown. She wasn't wearing really any shoes or slippers, just the nightgown. The video showed the girl, uh, girl crawl closer to who was filming, then stopped in the middle of the room. Then suddenly she lunged at the person. The video caught off. It, it startled Lori quite a bit, quite a lot, and she turned off her phone and decided to stay off it for a while. The next day, Lori experienced some strange things. She ended up seeing what she thought was a little girl in the corner of her eye. The very next day, she experienced something fairly similar. But the little girl was closer than before. Lori experienced this world the weird little girl getting closer in her vision from the corner of her eye each day. On the seventh day, the little girl was the uh, closest, and the night was terrifying. During the late hour of the night, like 12 a.m., Lori was on her phone when she heard a knocking noise from the window. Lori stopped looking at her phone and focused her attention on her window. The window then slowly opened and a shadow crawled in. Lori thought it was robber, so she went to call the police, but she noticed that this is dead fairly small. The robber wouldn't be so. Wouldn't be. She decided to wait to happen. The shadow focused his attention on Lori. It started coming closer and now came in the view and became seen. Lori recognized the little girl from the video she watched. She couldn't move. She was petrified. The little girl stopped in front of her bed and quickly lunged at her. The next morning, when Lenny woke up, she noticed Lori not there. But brushed her off as her getting up and getting ready before her. But everyone seemed freaked out. That, that Lori was missing. It seems she went missing without a reason. Or was it the video she watched? I hope you enjoyed the Scaremon story. Make sure you look out for more. And if you want more of an October spookiness, go check out Adam Shoyland's channel. He's doing a, a Plants vs. Zombies event over there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!